Hey there, beautiful people, and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you some of my all-time favorite, favorite products from Amazon. So if that's something that you're interested in, just keep watching. Okay, so I have some items in the categories of beauty and fashion, um, a little bit of home, homey type stuff, um, and like a random item and like tech kind of electronics kind of uh, category. So um, just I have a mixture of a few things and a lot of these things I've had for years. Um, so the things that I love and I just keep on um, purchasing over and over again because number one I can't find the products anywhere else in store and number two because I love them and they're just holy girl items that you know I stand by and I love and you know so I just keep purchasing them from Amazon like I needed an excuse to buy items from Amazon right mm -hmm. okay so um, I think I'll start with the homey type stuff just Cause that stuff is probably a little bit more boring i guess i don't know you may enjoy home stuff but um so actually let me start with like a random item i guess you can call it fashion i guess it, i guess it would be considered like more so fashion type of item so let me show you that um and that's this and i know what you're thinking what is that so i had an issue with belts um as far as like um I can never, they ne some of them just never come with enough holes. Like I would like to use them to cinch in a weight my waist and they're just, there's just not enough holes to do that. So I looked on Amazon one day and I found a hole puncher for your belt. And it looks like this. And basically these, this little knob here turns, right? So it, you just turn it to um, whichever size that you need the hole. So what I would recommend doing is to kind of try them out with the existing holes on your belt and kind of see which one kind of goes through that hole. And then I would go maybe just a little bit up. So let's say this one goes into the hole easily, not like you're jamming it in, but just kind of easily. Then I'm gonna go up to that next one and then you know use it to punch the hole. So that way it'll be similar to the other holes that you have in your belt because you don't want you don't want to have one random hole bigger than the other ones. You want to kind of make it look, you know, similar. So, and basically all you do is this part here, you put the belt on this part here and just like a hole puncher and like you would use in paper, you just use this knob and you push it and it should, it should create a hole for you. I've had this thing for probably about a year or so and I don't use it often, but when I do need to um, put a hole in my belt, I, I I use this little handy dandy gadget right here. So um, it looks it looks very intimidating, right? But it does a trick if you need a quick hole in your belt and you don't feel like digging with a knife. That's, that's, that's what I used to do. I used to get a knife and just dig and dig and dig and dig. And girl, ain't nobody got time for that. Get you a hole puncher. I think it was pretty reasonable price um i will link everything in this in this video down below if i can find it because like i said some of these items i've had for years um so yeah so that's that one get you a hole punch girl if you have any issues with getting holes in your belts you need this for sure all right so the next item i have are these and i have one already made and especially just a um uh, a meal prep meal this is a meal prep um, container and it's like a whole bunch of them um, I bought these sometime either last year or the year before last um, and basically it's just exactly what it is a meal prep um, container and it has three compartments here um, and I've used this one you can tell um, but yeah, so you just put your food in each little compartment and you're good. So like if you are a mom and you know, you're on the go and you know, especially when school starts back and 
you know, those of you whose kids are going to be at home and you have to go back to work or whatever, or you're working from home and, you know, your kids are pretty self-sufficient, you can just fix their meal, you know, the day before. That way they can go whenever they're done or whatever, they can go in the fridge, get their meal or get their, you know, container and they're good. They're set they have their meals so i think it's a good idea for that um or if you are meal prepping and you know you need a container to keep everything kind of stored for the week these are great for that so um and the portion size the portion size is or you know are good so you won't be having to worry about overeating you know what i mean so that's what these are good for and or, you know, even if you're not meal prepping and you need a good a container to take to work with you and you don't want, like I said, to like over stuff, you know, you over stuff things and just take too much food. And this is a good way to kind of control your portion size um, as well as keep you organized for the week. So that way you do your meal and you're done. Like that's it. So yeah, I like these little containers. Um, like I said, I've had these, I've had these for probably a year or so, if not longer. And so they're great. I put them in the dishwasher and never had any issues with them. So yeah, so those are the next items. And kind of right, kind of right in with the whole meal prep and meal storage, I have these containers as well, these glass containers with like the plastic lid and they're by um, Pyrex. And again, um, they're good for storage. I have several of these actually, let me get the other one. So I have these and then I have these. So they all, they all come in a set. Um, I can't remember how much they were because I've had these for several years as well. Several years, yeah. So, and I've kept up with the lids and that's pretty good considering, you know how it is with kids. They get the lids either be in their room or they'll be in the trash. You just never know. So I've managed to keep all the lids considering how long I've had these. So yeah, you know, when you're done cooking um, and you need good storage, you know, to put your food in. Um, these are good for that. They, you know, store food well, so you're not having to put a whole pot into the refrigerator. So just get you some storage containers and, you know, put your food in these and you're good. Or I use these sometimes to take to work if I just have like a soup or something and, um, you know, I don't want the soup to waste. Um, I put these, put the soup in the container or just whatever dish that I have um, and I just don't want to take up a whole lot of space in my lunch box or in my lunch bag then I use these containers and they're great um, like I said they come in a set and I want to say they were under $40 but again I will link these down below if they're still available on, on Amazon if not then I'll find something similar because I'm sure they probably are still available on Amazon um, so yeah those are those containers all right, and I don't know if you are like me in my household, but silverware seems to disappear like Houdini. I mean, I cannot figure out where all, well, I know where they go. They go in the trash, because you know how your kids are, right? They, they for some reason, just feel like everything has to go in the trash. If it goes in the trash, I don't have to clean it, right? So anyway, I'm always constantly, constantly buying silverware. So I thought to myself, you know what? Let me, let me get some cute silverware, because silverware, you know, Maybe I'm just like that, you know, just want to have some cute stuff or different stuff, you know, besides getting the same old thing all the time. So anyway, so I got some silverware that is black and um, these, this, is, this isn't even all of them. Like they came in a huge set um, and I, I want to say they really were, were probably more so for like special occasions when you want to get out the good silverware. That's pretty much what these are, but we use these every day. Cause like I said, silverware gets going quick in my house. Um, so I just got these um, set a set of black um, silverware and it comes with like these little small spoons and then it comes with these larger ones. And then um, it came with some um, little butter knives as well. I have more of these, but this is all I could bring upstairs in my room. Um, but it's a set of black silverware and I think they had other colors. Like I wanna say they had like um, some iridescent kind of color. Of course, they have the silver, the basic silver. Um, and yeah, like an iridescent kind of, I can't even pronounce, I can't even, I can't even think of the, the color. But anyway, I will link these down below um, if you wanna get the black ones and then you can see the other colors that they had. I think, I wanna say they also had gold. Um, but I wanted the black because kind of black is like 
one of the colors of my whole house. I have lots of black. So um, I thought this would go good um, in the kitchen um, with everything else. I have like black and white um, dishes and silverware, so as well as silver. Um, so yeah, so I liked these and I think they're really affordable. Like I said, I got a whole set, like huge whole set of, 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 of these um, that came in a set. So um, if you're interested in checking these out, they're very heavy too, like very substantial. It's not like the, the you know, cheap stuff that you get at like Walmart, you know, they're pretty substantial. That's why I said, I think more, they're more so for like special occasions. Like if you're in the house and you just wanna, you know, you want that fine dining experience, get you some of these and call it a day, you know, because we're not, you know, it's quarantine and we have to do things to, you know, keep ourselves from going crazy and to, you know, just kind of make things a little bit more interesting um, since, you know, a lot of us aren't really going out to restaurants like we used to. So this is one way to kind of, you know, help make the experience, you know, get you that experience that you would get in a fine dining establishment. So get you some of these and yeah, so I love these. All right, so I don't know about you, but I love drinking out of straws. I don't know why, I just do. I'd rather drink out of a straw. It's, I don't know, it's less messy, I don't know. But anyway, so I looked on Amazon because I wanted some um, uh, metal straws because I didn't want to continue to use the plastic ones um, just because that's wasteful. So I wanted some metal straws and I found these um, and it came like in a little bag that says Sip Sip, so cute. And it's like a whole pack of metal straws. And um, you have like some big ones here. And then as you can see, the smaller ones are here. Like for, these are more so for like coffee mugs or something or smaller cups. And these are for like tumblers. I use these uh, for like my tumblers or like my big um, cups. Um, th like thermal cups, I guess. And then um, I also have, so these are the curved ones, right? And then they also come with like the straight ones. Um, and then I like them, like these too, because it came with the, the brushes to clean them with. And I thought that was, um, I thought that was kind of neat and very convenient um, because it's hard to get, it's hard to clean these, right? Like you can't, all you can really do is soak them in the water but you wanna make sure you get all that bacteria and all that gunk out of them. So this is good that these come with, it came with two brushes actually. So they came with two cleaning brushes to clean them with. So I thought that was pretty cool. So if you're like me and you like to drink out of straws um, or you know, you want some, you wanna start drinking out of straws, I don't know. Um, then these are really good. And I wanna say they had these in, several colors as well. I wanna say they had them in gold. Um, I'm not sure, but I will. I recently got these, so they should be still available on Amazon. Um, but I will link them down below as well, because I think they had um, an option where you can choose um, different colors. So I will link them down below if you wanna check these out. But I like them and, you know, the dishwasher's safe, you know, cuts down on waste if you, you know, are constantly buying straws. Um, you don't have to, just get you some metal ones that you can, you know, reuse and reuse and reuse, and you can take them to work with you if you are still going to work. And yeah, like a family pack, and your family can use these as well. So yeah, I like these. All right, so I'm gonna get into like the tech stuff, and then we'll do the beauty and the fashion last. So let me get like the tech stuff. Um, so this is like a little mini tripod. I use this a lot um, with my videos. Um, and yeah, I got this about two years ago, I think. I think it's called a Gorilla Pod. I'm not sure. Um, I will link it though if I can find it, if it's still available. I'm sure they are. These are always available. So I use these um, uh, for shooting my videos sometimes um, or if I'm in front of the mirror showing shots of um, or clips of like what I have on then I'll sometimes have my camera on this and um, it comes with an attachment that I have on my other tripod now um, but yeah this is cute um, little tripod you can use it 
um, to put on your desk. You know, if you're shooting videos, um, it's good for videos um, that you're on, like if you're behind a desk or whatever and you need something to kind of hold your camera, you can sit this on your desk and use it that way. So yeah, so I've had this for a couple of years and never had any problems with it. It's bendable and I mean, it's so many different things you can do with this tripod, which is why I like it so much. Um, but yeah. All right, so the next items I have are just some um, um, phone cases that I got um, a few years ago when I first got my iPhone X S Max. <laughs> so I just needed some phone cases. So I got this one, it's kind of in a, a marble, um, like rose gold marble effect. This one is like in a black and gold marble effect. And this was just like in like a, I don't know, geometric print. Um, and all these little ring holders I have, I also got from Amazon. I will link those down below too. If you saw my recent Shein haul, I had um, mentioned those in that video. So as you can see, I, I do use those, or use these little ring holders and I love them so much. Like it's easy for me to hold my camera, or hold my phone when I have um, the little ring holder attached. So I love these ring holders. Um, and I love these cases. They're like silicone, so they're very bendy. It's easy to get your phone in and out of them, which I appreciate because some phone, cell phone cases, it's so hard to get your, your phone out of them and it's just such a hassle. So I like these because I can get my phone in and out with, you know, quick and just switch them up. So yeah, so I got those phone cases. Um, they're pretty nice quality as well. Um, if they are still available, I will link them down below and I'll also link down below these ring holders as well if you wanna get those for your phone. But yeah, I really like these and I switch them out regularly. Um, so those are those. All right, and the last thing as far as in tech category that I have um, is this my MacBook Pro case. And I got this in like a marble effect. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, like a marble effect and yeah. So this was easy to get on and off. It has also comes with like a little back as well to protect the back. And um, this was, it's real easy to get on onto my Mac book. Um, and it also came with like a little, um, I guess keyboard, little protector, which I don't use, but it did come with this. Um, I don't, to me, I just don't see the purpose of that. Um, yeah, it's just, I don't know. That's, that's how it looks with the little keyboard protector on, but it just, to me, it just, I don't know. I guess it's okay. I guess, I mean, it doesn't move or anything. Like when you're typing, it doesn't move or anything. So I guess technically you can use it if you want to, if you just want to protect your keyboard. Um, but I never really used this, so, but it does come with the case, so. Um, but yeah, so cute case. And I think they had um, other colors um, as well. So if you have a MacBook Pro, um, this one, I can't remember the model of this, but I've had it a couple of, I've had it for about two years. So whichever one came out two years ago was the one that I have, but i um, never had any problems with it. I've had this one for two years. This is the only one I've had and it definitely protects my MacBook. And yeah, so that's that. All right, the first thing I wanna show you is a um, lotion or a body care that I use that I love. I've been using this for years and it is by the brand Tree Hut and it is the Shea Butter or Shea Body Butter in um, the Brazil the Brazil Nut Oil. Like, well, it has Brazil Nut Oil, but, um, but it's by Tree Hut um, and it's called Shea Body Butter and it's in the um, I guess fragrance, um, Brazil nut oil or Brazil nut. And I love this. Oh my God. I love it. It smells, it, it smells, it smells heavenly. I don't know. It smells like, gosh, it smells like, I can't even describe the smell. It kind of smells like German chocolate. If you've ever had like German chocolate cake, it kind of smells like that a little bit, a little bit, but it just smells so good. Oh, I love the smell of this. It smells like chocolate. Yeah. 
I just keep smelling it because it smells so good. But I love this um, and it's in the Brazilian nut, um, I guess, fragrance or scent. Um, but it's so good. It's um, shea butter. So, you know, shea butter is good for your skin anyway. And I have sensitive skin and um, I also have eczema. So I have to get stuff that's, you know, pretty good for my skin um, because of the skin problems that I do have. But I love, love this product. And they used to sell it at Ulta, which is where I used to get it from. But for whatever reason, they just stopped selling it at Ulta. And so I've looked everywhere. Um, they don't sell, now they do have it at Target. I will say they do have it at Target, but they don't have it in this particular, um, I guess, fragrance. They have it in different other, other fragrances that I don't like. But for some reason, they just don't sell it in this fragrance. I don't know why. I wish they would, but it's fine because I can get it on my Amazon. Um, but sometimes they I can't find it on Amazon, so I have to keep, you know, keep going back and find, trying to find it, and then it always appears. Um, but I love this. It definitely keeps my skin moisturized. Um, it doesn't, you know, my, my skin is not dried out or anything. So I love um, this particular um, body butter, and I just put it all over, all over my body. And um, yeah, I love it. So if you're looking for a good body cream, body lotion, this is a good one. And I usually just get like, when I do order because they tend to not, they either go out of stock or I just can't find it. Um, I usually get about three of them at a time and they usually last me a while because a little bit goes a long way with this, um, this 24 hour intense hydrating shea butter, shea body butter. So um, yeah, I love this product. Can't get, can't say enough good things about this one. Um, so along with this one, I also have the Tree Hut, um, have it in a scrub, the same um, fragrance, the Brazilian Nut in a scrub. And I love this scrub. I've tried other scrubs and this one, this is my go-to. I love this body scrub. I mean, it definitely just smooths my skin out. Um, it, it does the trick. I use it in the shower, not every day, um, but I do use it maybe every three days. Um, and I just scrub it all over my body and just really just makes my skin just silky smooth after I'm done. Um, so yeah, when I, I usually get buy these in bulk as well. When I get them off Amazon, I usually order about two or three. So that way I won't run out before it's time to reorder. So yeah, I love this product. So if you're looking for a good scrub or want to try out a good scrub, then you can try, try this one. Um, but it's really good. Um, just as good as the body butter. So yeah, love this product. So another product that I recently purchased um, is this um, gel effect top coat um, for your nails. And it's by the brand, I don't know, I'm gonna butcher this, Set, Sechi Vivi? I don't know, it's this. I saw this on another blogger and she was saying, um, here on YouTube, and she was saying that she noticed that her nails um, didn't chip, chip quite as uh, soon as if, you know, other, you know, didn't chip quite as soon once you use this. So I was intrigued and, and I tried it out for myself and yeah, it, it definitely has like a very gel effect. Um, uh, it definitely has a gel effect to it and your nails don't chip quite as soon. And also it's, it's it dries pretty fast too. So um, that's another reason why I liked it because I don't like to wait a long time for my nails to dry when I paint them. And with this one, you, it, it, I mean, it's it dries real quick after you um, apply this top coat to your nails. So um, it was pretty pricey for a nail polish, but like I said, it, it gives you that gel effect and your nails dry fast. So if you're looking for another, you know, top coat or want to try out a good top coat for your nails, if you do your own nails, because I know a lot of us are probably doing our own nails right now, um, then this is a good one for you to try out. So I'll have it linked down below. I've used it several times, so I like it so far. So I will link this down below. All right, and then another one in sort of the category of health and beauty um, is a mouthwash. And I know you're probably thinking, what? So my um, dentist actually recommended this to me because I told him, look, um, just, you know, full disclosure, I hate using mouthwash because it burns. So I hate, I hate that feeling after you use mouthwash, it just burns. I mean, it definitely, you know, cleanses your mouth and cleanses, you know, you know, your gums and all that good stuff. 
but I don't like to burn afterwards, especially when I brush, after I brush my teeth. And so they were, my um, dentist actually gave me this, or gave this to me um, for me to try out and to see if I like it. And it's by the brand OxyFresh, and it's called Fresh Bread. And I got this one in the, um, in the lemon mint, um, I guess, flavor. And it's just a mouthwash. It says a mouthwash with oxygen, oxygen and zinc. And it fights bad breath, protects all day, clinically proven and alcohol free, which I love the fact that it's alcohol free. Um, but it says on here, don't just mask bad breath, eliminate at the source. Um, our secret blend of oxygen and zinc acetate effectively eliminates bad breath and helps reduce plaque and tartar formation. This safe, non-toxic formula is the first line of defense to help promote your smile. So, yeah, so I really like this product. Um, I tried to find it at like Target and other drugstores and just they don't sell it evidently in the drugstore or at Walmart or Target. Um, so I went on Amazon, as you do, and I found it. And so it is pretty pricey, I will say that, but um, it is non-toxic, which I love. Um, I love anything that's non-toxic. So um, yeah, I love this product. If you're looking for your mouth, good mouthwash, or if you're like me and the mouthwash from the regular mouthwash that you use, it burns and even like my kids they don't like to use mouthwash because it burns um this is also good for kids too who do not under any circumstance want to use mouthwash you can give it to your kids it does not it i'm, I'm telling you it does not burn at all not at all so it's a, i think it's good for your kids too so if you're a mom and you're looking for a good mouthwash for your babies you know give them this um, and all i do is i take one cap full because like I said, it's pricey, so you need to let it, you know, it needs to last. But you just take one cap full and you're good. It, 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 you're able to really gargle and rinse with this. So yeah, so I love this mouthwash. If you're looking for a good one to try out, that's non-toxic and does not burn and, you know, definitely helps with your breath as well. If you, you know, eating something and it kind of gives you bad breath, then you can, you know, gargle with this and you're good. So yeah, try this so good um thing i want to start with is this my necklace here and it's just an initial necklace that i got a few years ago i want to say or maybe a year and a half ago and it just has my initials on it and um yeah i love this um initial necklaces are you know trending or in right now so i love this and it's kind of has like um like a what do you call it like a bamboo or Kind of like a bamboo wood i guess kind of um detail to it um yeah so i love this and it came with like two chains um two chains it came with two chains um that you can kind of you know interchange i think the other one may be shorter or maybe longer i don't know but it came with two chains and i still have it the other chain um let me show you the other one so it came in like a box like this uh focal focal look and here's the other chain and I want to say it's shorter. Yeah, this chain, I guess this chain is maybe shorter or yeah. So this chain is a little bit shorter or maybe it's the same size. It looks like the same size. I don't know, but it came with an extra chain for, for whatever reason, I don't know. I guess maybe you can layer on, maybe you can layer, I guess. Put you another um, charm or something on the, you know, on this one and maybe layer. I don't know, but it came with an extra train, I guess, in case the other one um, tarnishes or something. I don't know, but I haven't had any issues. I've had this one, the same one on, and I haven't had any issues with it tarnishing, um, you know, because this is not real gold, um, but I've had had any issues with it tarnishing or um, any issues with it changing colors or, you know, anything. So it's pretty good quality, I would say, for um, the price. Um, I think I only paid like $20 or so I don't know but I will link it down below in case you are interested in getting an initial chain um, this is a good one these are really popular I want to say some last year they were really popular They're, you know everybody had these kind of chains and I think it's a knockoff for the Celine 
Yeah, I think the Celine chain um, initial necklaces, I think it's what it's, um, this is a knockoff for. So um, if you've been wanting one of those initial necklaces and haven't been able to find one, then yeah, Amazon has And so I will link this down below so that you can check it out. Um, so let me show you some handbags or yeah, handbags. So I have these two like basket handle bags um, that I got off Amazon. I have it in black and I have it in this um, kind of wood um, tone. Um, and I just have inside of here, I have like a um, dust bag from a, uh, another bag. And so that's what I use when I wear stuff like this that I don't want all my, my belongings to just be showing. I just get a dust bag and just put my belongings in the dust bag. You know, things that I don't want to really be showing through the bags. And these are so cute. These are really popular. Um, right now but they were really popular like last year and it's, it's of course it's a knockoff or dupe or the cult Gaia handbags that are really popular and trendy and but you know the cult Gaia they're run you up in the hundreds of dollars and I think I only paid like 30 for these a piece so they're really cute um, a good fashion statement they're good for you know good for props like you take photos and you want like some good props then they're good for that too um, but they're cute and actually they're very roomy you can fit a lot of stuff in here actually so um, but yeah so I love these cute little bags and I got them off Amazon they're like little I wouldn't call them a clutch I guess you can kind of wear them like a clutch but they're mainly just kind of bags that you kind of hold just they're basically fashion statements okay I mean you probably don't want to be carrying around these all day but like if you're going out to a dinner or going out with your man or whatever then these are cute for that um but definitely not like everyday bags they're just basically like going out bags so these are cute i also got like another one of these like raffia or rat rattan kind of bags and um it um buckles here and opens like this um yeah i don't like the only thing i don't like about these bags is they don't have like a some sort of cloth here to keep keep it from opening all the way but i mean that's okay it's it's fine you know it does it serves its purpose but yeah so i got this off amazon and these again they're they were trendy last year i want to say around when those other bags or those other basket bags were trendy um and it has a cute little like loop or tie detail here, loop detail here, that's so cute. And I've had these bags for probably, once I've had them for like a year, you know, probably like a year and a half. Again, I've had these for a while, so they've held up, they held up pretty well, considering how long I've had them. And I will try to link these down below, because I've had these for a while, so I don't know if they're still in stock, but I will try to find something similar from a different vendor if I can't find these exact ones. Um, but yeah, so that's that little bag. If you're looking for bags like this, Amazon should have them. And I will try to find them for you. All right, and then the last thing I wanted to show you is this kimono. Such a pretty kimono. You probably can't see it all in its glory, um, but it comes with like a little tie here. Um, but yeah, I just recently purchased this. And when I say recently purchased this, I mean like I got, I've had this for a couple of days. And I took a picture of it on Instagram. I will pop a picture so you can see how it looks on. Um, I just had like a white bodysuit on and like some, um, like a skirt. Um, but yeah, so I popped a picture of it on Amazon. Actually, um, I saw something similar to this on Instagram. And um, I had posted it in my stories and um, I was asking people, you know, if they like this or whatever. But anyway, um, one of my coworkers actually um, sent me a link to this from Amazon. So, you know, thank I want to thank her for um, for showing me this item because I thought it was a pretty, very pretty kimono. I love kimonos. I have about two or three other ones, and I just thought this was so pretty. It's, I love this like turquoise, especially with the pink. Um, I think this is so pretty. Um, very lightweight, and they had several colors. Uh, someone actually messaged me on Instagram and said that they have it in black. So they evidently, everybody loves these. Um, but they had them in different colors, like purple and pink and black and champagne. Yeah, they had like a champagne color that was so pretty. I think I'm gonna get the champagne one, colored one. But um, yeah, I just thought this was so pretty. 
Um, it's advertised as like a robe and kimono. I guess you could wear it as a robe if you don't want to wear it out, but I plan on wearing it out when we can get out in these streets, okay? I'm gonna be wearing this out, out. So, but it was so pretty and just so many ways that you can style kimonos. I mean, the possibilities are limitless of what you can do with kimonos. So, um, yeah, I really love this. Um, yeah, and I will link this down below because like I said, I just got this, so it should be available. All right, so that's it. Actually, no, it's not. I. Um, actually also, um, as far as in the beauty category or hair care, um, there is a brush that I use, a Demon brush. I don't know if all you know what that means. I'll pop a picture on the screen so you can see what I'm talking about. I just ordered one because my daughter jacked up the one that I had. Like she jacked it up yesterday. I want to say yesterday or the day before. She did something with it. I don't know, but I, I can no longer use it. So I ordered them in on the Demon brush. So that's something that I ordered on Amazon because I can't find them anywhere in the stores. So I get that, the Demon brush, I get it from Amazon. It just really smooths my hair and my daughter's hair and just gets, and it helps detangle it. So I love Demon brushes. Um, so I got that. Um, I also get that on Amazon. That's another Holy Grail um, item of mine that I get from Amazon. So I will link it down below as well. And I also got some furniture a few years ago when we first moved into our house two or three years ago. Um, also, I'll probably, I'll try to show you the, um, either a picture or show you a video or, of, of the two items that I'm, the furniture pieces that I'm talking about. One is a, um, it's a, uh, console, well not console, it's um, a credenza that I use for my TV um, or it's under my TV that I put a um, I, it's decoration and then I have like some, um, I have other things in, in it as well um, for storage, but it's like a credenza and it's under my TV down in the living room. So I also, I got that off Amazon and it was a pretty good price, um, pretty decent price considering what it is and I still have it and it's in great shape. Um, and I also got a, um, my coffee table. It's um, also from Amazon. I'll try to show you a video of it as well, or a picture of it as well, so that you can see how I have it um, in my home. Um, so I got those two items from Amazon and I love them. I've had them, like I said, a few years and I think they're still available last time I checked. If they are, I will link them down below, but I got, or I'll try to link something similar to those, but I love those two pieces. Um, those are like the first furniture pieces that I purchased when we first moved into our home. So I um, haven't had any issues with those. So I got those from Amazon as well and I love them. Um, so yeah, so that's it. That is everything that I got from Amazon. Those are like the products that I love, that I swear by that I purchased over and over. Some of them are items that I purchased just over and over again. So if you know, you're know you looking for something similar or you wanna try some of the items out, um, like I said, I will link everything down below. And yeah, so um, happy shopping on Amazon, which is probably what a lot of us are doing right now. So yeah, so that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope that you found you something in here that's useful for you in your home or just in your everyday um life and um yeah so thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel it would really help me out and also follow me on instagram and also follow me all, all over my blog as well i will link everything down below and yeah so i'll see you guys in my next video enjoy your day and see you guys next time all right bye